SDN uh, is Software Defined Networking and it's basically the concept of splitting up uh, the forwarding layer from the control layer in network elements like routers or switches and to put uh, the functionalities uh, of, of control and application in software modules. So the, the ONF uh, started uh, their work around four years ago. Um, it was basically the idea to take what was available uh, as development from Stanford University, um, uh, um, specification called OpenFlow, and to further standardize OpenFlow that was the first idea, the first step, if you will, of the ONF and uh, it became much broader during the last three, four years. So currently we are still uh, working on specifying uh, SDN protocols, but besides that uh, we have now three additional uh, working areas. One is focusing on uh, services like security, wireless, uh, another one is looking into carrier issues like migration um, and the fourth one is looking into market issues so educating people, writing white papers and organizing conferences and uh, talks like on this event. So uh, as I explained earlier the ONF started uh, with uh, doing specification standards, basically paperwork and we realized that it needs a little bit more to, to bring that onto the market. Uh, so just uh, paperwork is not enough. So we have started already two years ago with first tests uh, to help implementing what we specified in software in real products. And um, as this was quite successful, we decided to uh, continue with that, so to focus more on implementing uh, SDN functionalities and for that we just recently started a new uh, developer community, a global developer community focusing on supporting uh, development of SDN open source software and this is sponsored by ONF. Yeah, well, uh, the implementation of SDN started in the data center environments and it's moving now slowly into enterprise uh, environments and the advantage for enterprises is that um, basically they can offer network services uh, as a service so automated and fully flexible and this goes up to the application layer so no need to, to have dedicated appliances for uh, firewall uh, functionalities or so so depending on the demand um, you can um, you can issue uh, the, the, the number of, of virtual appliances as needed and of course with SDN the network will also support this uh, high flexibility and for enterprises this makes it a lot uh, cheaper to provide uh, network services and of course the flexibility is, is probably the, the, the biggest advantage. Um, yes and no. <laughs> there are certain um, elements which I would say are mature already, so uh, many things that, that you can see in data center cloud environments, part of Linux distribution uh, for example, uh, but others um, probably need some additional effort to become more mature and especially for telcos always the question comes up if it's carrier grade already and I wouldn't say that it is uh, completely carrier grade at the moment, but it's developing uh, heavily and I expect that in, in one or two years we can really say that uh, there are carrier grade solutions available. It's evolving uh, very fast, so, so there is a lot of, of dynamics behind it. Lots of players are, are joining the ecosystem. We see many, many startups, uh, not only in the US, also in, in uh, Europe or in, in Israel, uh, working on specific modules uh, for a SDN solution. And as these things uh, mature uh, and the ecosystem gets, gets broader and bigger, uh, I see a, a, a bright future for SDN.